quick drop a like on this video or this spider's gonna crawl up into your food and make it all nasty i wouldn't risk it welcome back plug nation today man we got some important things to talk about and as you guys know man i'm usually giving you all good news but sometimes there's got to be some bad ones so in today's vid there's going to be one that's kind of heartbreaking. Now, let's get into it, and I want you guys to let me know in the comment section, what is the game that you are playing? Next Gen 2K22 or current gen? I still haven't pre-ordered 2K22. I still don't even know which game I'm going to be on first, so maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section. But look, Wadgeplug went to Twitter and spoke some facts. He said, what's most important for 2K22 next is not 30 seconds of gameplay, it's a demo. We need a demo. So something like power forwards being broken on next gen can be spotted before release. Hopefully, we find out this week. So a lot of people have got it a little confused when I would say we need a demo for the game. They think that, oh, you just want to play the game early and you get a little look at the builder, blah, blah, No, there's things like on next gen where the power forward was super broken that could have been fixed before the game came out. And that was a huge issue, if not the biggest issue throughout the entire year of next gen. So if there was an issue like that in 2K22, it could be fixed before the game releases. But as you guys know, we have not been getting any information from 2k i told you all last year the demo for 2k21 was announced on august 11th it is august 17th we have still not heard anything about a demo and double hdf responded to that tweet and said we're not getting a demo it's something we need or want but we're not getting it and then just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, Luck DF responded and said, I'm sorry, but NBA 2K22 will have no demo. Remember this, dot, dot. We would have been gotten the information on it. So DF, two members, and I honestly think DF is closer to 2K than most people, at least in the community, would know about this. And two of them are saying it. Not like, oh, there's a, there's a high chance. No. They're literally saying there will not be a demo for 2K22, which is pretty heartbreaking, man. It's pretty tough. Now, do we need a demo? Not necessarily, as long as the game comes out and it doesn't have those issues. But if the game releases and there's an issue like in the builder that we could have easily got fixed before it released then we would have needed a demo. You see what I'm saying? So it's like we need one, but at the same time, as long as it doesn't come out broken, we don't. But it would be great for us to be able to test out the game before we get it. Not only is it about fixing issues before the game releases, but something that I've loved doing is finding out my day one build before the game releases. You know what I'm saying? Having my build, not necessarily knowing that it's great because we haven't been able to actually play competitive park or anything like that, you know, versus real people, but going into the game and going, all right, this is the build that I've sat there and labbed through and played on the My Career thing. This is the build that I want to start day one on park with, and we're not going to be able to do that this year, it seems like, if there's not going to be a demo, which two people in DF are saying, man, it's tough. It really is tough. I'm pretty upset about that. Neither of the games, like not even one of them can have a demo 2K. I don't know, man. But anyway, 2K tweeted this out the other day. Yesterday, they said, new teams for familiar faces in hashtag 2K22. Which player are you running with first? And they just dropped screenshots that they've already posted before. Check this out. These are some screenshots if you guys don't follow 2K on Twitter. August 11th, they've posted these screenshots before on their Twitter. They didn't tweet for four days. It is August, midway through August. Didn't tweet for four days. And they're like, you know what? Let's just take four screenshots we've already dropped and put them into one tweet. So, of course, you already know, man, how the community is going to react to that. Wadge plug taking another huge dub, said, did y'all just compile your last four tweets into one tweet and hadn't tweeted for four days? Like, what even is that? We're midway through. Last year, we knew about the demo coming out. We knew, we knew so much more. Like, what's going on, 2K? Agent responded himself and said drop news and gameplay instead 2k intel responded they said translation pre-order our game but hey you won't get to see what it looks like until september 9th i mean big people were mad agent responded then king of the fourth quarter again 
Kenny Beecham is coming out and saying, you literally already tweeted these pictures and ratio 2K themselves. Like they already tweeted that. What's going on in 2K? Like the poor intern that they are making tweet out these tweets, man. Because like what, what, what is the thought process behind? I don't even, you know, I'm not even gonna get, nope, nope. Moving on to the next one. All right, so Zach Timmerman, if you guys don't know, is someone who works at 2K. He's gave us some very valuable information before in the past about the games as soon as they release or right before. Anyway, he was asked by Pelt Dog on Twitter, what can you tell us about the post game in 2K22? He said nothing. And LD2K was responding to tweets as well. I'm not even gonna show them on the screen because it really doesn't matter. And he was saying that he can't talk about the game. So no one can talk about the game right now. And as I showed you guys last year, as soon as 2K dropped their gameplay trailer on August 6th, I don't know how I keep remembering these dates so good, but on August 6th, they dropped the gameplay trailer. Mike Wing, the gameplay director for 2K, every single day was replying to five, 10 tweets on average talking about the gameplay, telling us about the game. Well, it's August 17th, we've yet to get a gameplay trailer, therefore, we're not going to hear anything. You see what I'm saying? So I think once the gameplay trailer drops, if we're even gonna get one this year, I don't, are we even gonna get one this year? But if it drops, when it does, then we'll start hearing about the gameplay of the game. And that's just, man, like, what is 2K doing right now? They've outdone themselves. People will comment this and be like, oh, they do this every year, but guys, you don't understand they're doing this way harder than they have in the past. Last year, we got the gameplay trailer, like I said, on August 6th. We knew about the demo coming out on August 11th. These are things they told us in the past, right? And they're not telling us anything this year. So it's different than it is in the past. Yes, they are still waiting up until like the last minutes, but this year they're going even harder, not giving us no information. And I guess I was right. Sadly, I was right. When I told you guys, 2K is probably wanting to save all their news to where they can pretty much drop news every day until the release and it keeps the excitement up. So their business team has thought about it and told 2K, hey, I think the best way for you to get pre-orders and the most sales is to just wait up until the game's about to release and then news, 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 news. Because once it starts coming out, people are gonna be happy, people are gonna be excited, depending on, you know, what the news is. Now you might be saying, all right, Badge, okay, I get it, you know, 2K is down bad right now, I'm wanting the news, I need something, when is at least the next news? When do you think, what is coming next, when, blah, blah, blah? Well, all you gotta do is go to the courtside report that they dropped like three weeks ago, and they have two things that they said they're dropping in August, all right? So one of them is, that's only the beginning. More impactful gameplay changes will be introduced along with the first NBA 2K22 gameplay reveal trailer coming out later in August. So they are saying that we're getting a gameplay trailer in August. And then the next one out of the article, there was two things they said will be in August. More details will be revealed about the expanding seasons experience later in August. So we'll be figuring out about the seasons and then the gameplay trailer will drop, which isn't really that important, but what is important out of that to me is that we're probably going to start hearing about gameplay news for 2K22. Actual stuff from Mike Wang, Zach Timmerman, maybe even LD2K, Ron, I don't know. But uh, people are upset at 2K. They're very mad that they're holding back this news, which is rightfully understandable. I mean, we should know much more about the game before it releases. It's like 24 days, 23 days until the game comes out, and we pretty much know nothing about the game they gave us that one big drop and then that was it which is really weird i don't know it's really weird but guys i am going to keep posting news videos in 2k22 once the game drops i'm going to keep you updated with everything that's going on throughout the community i'm still going to be plugging you guys in with the best jump shots the best builds all that stuff so hit that subscribe button if you're new and something i wanted to leave for the loyals of the video that have made it this far is I'm proposing an idea. I'm not 100% doing it yet, but in 2K22, let's say for example, I post a jump shot video on day one, and then I've got three videos that I wanna post as well, but in that time, I found a new best jump shot. And it's not gonna come up for like two or three days because I've got other videos to post. So in that time, I will have this thing called a Patreon where it's $5 a month, 
I'm gonna update you guys with everything, not just my jump shot. I would put it on there as soon as I figure out this is the new best shot, instead of you guys having to wait for it to be on YouTube. The same as my dribble moves and everything else, lots of tips and tricks for only five bucks a month. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. If I'm gonna do that, it's gonna be in like the next week or two where I launch it, all right guys? So if you want that, let me know, it's just an idea. So let's say I drop a best dribble moves video and then I find out that this move is actually better and I'm not gonna make a whole new video on one move, I would just update it on there, you see what I'm saying? It'd be for every single thing on my player. It's your boy Badge Plug, you've been plugged in, hit that subscribe button if you're new, drop a like if you haven't yet, and I'm out, peace.